Okay, so hello, my name is Miss Petty. This is my orientation video for grade six reading. Okay, so I will share my screen uh, with you. Okay, so uh, most important, um, I teach period four or eight. Okay, I have uh, the times that the classes meet. So if they're in period, if your son or daughter's in period four, we meet from 1045 to 1115. And then period eight, it would be on the home page, meets from 105 to 135. Okay, in order to get into class, I have a link right on the home page. Uh, click the zoom in image to get into class. So easy breezy. Okay. And then um, these are the links that are the most important that I have for the students. Uh, modules will be key for um, one of the big ones that they visit. They should be visiting every day. When you open up modules, I have everything organized by the week. So I, of course, this week um, that we're currently on, the 26th to the 30th of October. I provide an overview and then everything the student needs is in there for each day, okay? So the overview goes in uh, just a very quick, what are we doing that day? So that's helpful if you're helping out at home. You could be like, oh, hey, what did you do for the background knowledge? You know, what was your Halloween activity? Uh, so on and so forth. Now within each day, I have a snapshot and a presentation, and that's important. The snapshot I usually publish ahead of time. Um, the presentation either right before class or after class. The snapshot I make available because that way they can see the overview for the day, the learning targets for the day, and the guidelines. Okay. Now the presentation, and the snapshot sometimes has a video of me in it describing something, sometimes it doesn't. The presentation is what they would go to if they miss class for the day, okay? So for example, these students um, for today, uh, 10 or for yesterday, the catch up day. Oh, let me go into another one. So presentation for background knowledge, okay? It has everything in there. So they can pop it up. It has the, the slides and you know, what we're doing and there's a video I post in there. So if the video is not in a snapshot, it's in the presentation. And it will go through, it'll, and then that's me. We are starting a new story today. So, so I go through everything, um, you know, quickly. Not everything specific, but I'll go over the learning targets. Um, and that's what they can do if they're out. So that's another big game. Now, assignments. Um, I have that posted. Some people can choose to do that. Some teachers do, some teachers don't. I like the assignments here because I can quickly find something and help the students or they can find something quickly, especially if they're catching up. So, so you can see these are the overdue assignments. They have undated assignments so because that's tomorrow and then uh, past assignments. So these are all the ones that we've done. Okay. So that's a big one as well. Okay. And then it does divide it up by their assignments has all the quizzes in it. The little spaceships are the quizzes. But if you just wanted to do quizzes, it just has all of them. But I just go to assignments. So, and then announcements. If there's any announcements, I'll have it at the top. As you can see, I let them know that quarter one is ending November 9th. Just a nice reminder. And their home page, of course, brings them back to the home page. Now, in their calendar, it should show when things were, yeah, when things are due. And usually this is the Wednesday things are due um, for asynchronous learning. And then it shows when they had to pass stuff, okay? And I haven't published the rest of the stuff this week, so that's why it's not in there. So if you have any questions, please let me know. But those are the biggies and everything should be in there. All articles and stuff like that. Let me go back to that. That's one last biggie, so let me go back. Go to the dashboard and calendar. Let me just get back to let me see if we got to that. Why isn't it going back? I mean, we still don't be let me go back. 
Uh, the one last thing they need to, what I wanted to talk about, sorry for the pause there. Sometimes I can't get out of certain things. So we're in student, yes. So the other important thing is the calendar, I did the calendar, the inbox, the quarter one. Uh, they can, oh, that's it. They can contact me via this inbox right here, okay? So if they have a question, they can open that inbox. Um, I can't do it because it's a student view, but what you'll see is they have an option to create an email. And I see that in mine once they send it out. Um, so they can contact me if they have any questions as well. And I do prefer that because it's much quicker to do it via Canvas. I see them right away than my other email. But of course, I'll check out that email as well. Okay, uh, so those are the biggies, okay? So, well, welcome to class for the student. Um, I hope everything's well, but other than that, um, you can send an email using their inbox. Some people do, uh, do that. Um, my email at school is spetty um, at cssc.org, um, which is right in the uh, district's website as well. So Sandy Petty, P-E-T-T-Y. So welcome. If you have any questions, let me know.